Hello everybody and welcome back to more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again and of course we're running it back as golems. This guy is too much fun to not play again. I love him so much. Let's just jump in. Apparently you can get a free reroll on your one of your original ones. So we want to be bombing this um, to grab uh, extra luck for um, and chance for coin machines to be free. Okay. Um, and then yeah, I think it's this one we can reroll for free. Is it this one? No, that, that's not that. It's, yeah, it's this. Okay. So this one can be rerolled for free. Taking damage grants a temporary shield that blocks damage. Nice. Okay. And then we've also got this, which we can then come over here and scrap for some HP. Which is good stuff for us. Okay. Very happy with that. Also, we started off with this guy right off the bat, which is kind of interesting. And I'm going to take a risk and I'm going to chisel that to me straight away. I think having that shield all the time is going to be super, super useful. But yeah. As for the question of the day today, this is kind of an interesting one. Um, if you could create and design a reality TV show, what would it be? And this is an idea that um, I saw online a long time ago, for mine at least, for, for what I'd do. A an idea that I saw online a long time ago, but I just like the, even though it's not my own idea, I like the idea of it so much that I just think it would be hilarious and it needs to be made at some point. Basically, the idea would be, it kind of be like a um, Bachelor-esque sort of thing, uh, TV show, where essentially you get like, I think it'd be about 20, 20 or so men, um, and you could do it with women as well, but I don't know, I think it'd be funnier with men. Do 20 or so, uh, get 20 or so men in a house, and um, all of them are gay, but one of them is straight, and they have to figure out who the straight person is, but the catch is, they're all straight. And they're all just pretending to be as gay as they can and trying to figure out who's really straight. But in the actual fact, they're just all, they're all straight. And they're all just, <laughs> I think that'd be really funny. <laughs> I saw it online, like, it must have been like, like years ago that I saw it for the first time now. But I just found it so hilarious, the idea of that. By the way, I just took damage while I had the shield up there. So we might die here. Um, I'm not exactly sure why that happened. I took damage while I, while I had the shield up to that, like, ghost blast thing. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> it's probably not the most politically correct show, but I don't know, I find that to be a hilarious, hilarious idea. Also, this is a really good thing to get here, and a class D6 to boot as well. Um, this is unfortunately an XL floor, so I did lose my devil chance already, which is a little bit of a shame. Okay, that guy did full heart damage. Okay, so that's why. Okay, the shield just doesn't last very long. I thought it lasted longer than that. That's fine, then. That is fine. Just gotta be a little more careful, I guess. Um, I guess I'll go for this. Look at the teeny tiny fella. Soul Heart would be really nice here. Of course, we didn't manage to get that. I'd love to get the Mini Isaac's glass thing, though. The, the, the test tube there. That's actually a really fun item, and it allows you to utilize red hearts that you don't need on the floor. And we also need to be playing arcade machines whenever possible, because right now we have a setup that allows us to essentially get some free plays. It said that it's like based on our luck, so we need to get luck upgrades as well. I always forget how to do this room. Luckily, we got one movable barrel, which makes it a little easier, because we can stand here and do that. I'm going to try and blow all of these up, though. Just because you can get like the matchstick or whatever. Calm down, you. Okay, this is a room that I think I could potentially die in. Um, we've already been hit once. Not very good going to start with. Oh, Lord. Don't, don't jitter towards me, please. You are producing way too many spiders for my liking. Okay, we got a heart, good. Um, and to Tooth and Nail is really, really good, actually. It allows us to get into cash rooms for free. And also, it might be one of the most fitting items visually with this character that I've ever seen. Like, look at this. We basically just turn into the same skin tone and everything as we are right now. Okay, that is a slightly frustrating enemy. I love these the way that these guys drop webs as, like, the ground entities. But yeah, it'd be really interesting to hear what, what like, TV show ideas you guys have that you think would be really funny. Uh, even if it's, like, not something that would be super hilarious one of them that i i really liked um i don't know if anyone has watched nathan for you before but he did um he did a tv show on one of the episodes of that that was just oh it was hilarious if, if, if anyone hasn't watched nathan for you or the rehearsal for that matter that's one of his new shows definitely go and do that that absolutely hilarious um i mean i watched um some of the the rehearsal last night 
and it is just absurd. So basically, for those of you that don't know what it is, essentially it's a TV show, Nathan for you at least, a TV show where he t uses his business degree to go to businesses and he just gives them terrible advice. Like, he just, he, he basically finds the most convoluted and ridiculous ways possible to help improve their business. And yeah, it's just, it, they're just insane. Um, and then um, in the rehearsal, his new TV show, basically the whole idea of it is like being able to rehearse for every single moment in your life by like, re like in, in the first episode, he's helping this guy admit a lie that he's been, that he's had going on with this, per with this person in his friend group for a while. He's helping him uh, admit to this lie. And so to do this, he like, recreates the exact scenario in which it will go down including a complete recreation of the bar that it'll happen in as well as like getting someone to act as his friend that, that has met his friend like they, 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 they sort of made up a way for him to meet the friend um and basically do this really over convoluted thing where this person pretends to be his friend and he does the whole admitting and they try out loads of different um decision branches and ways that it could go to basically prepare for every eventuality and every possibility and it is just the most over complicated and expensive way to practice the most pointless thing that didn't need to be practiced at all i've only watched the first episode so far so i'm looking forward to watching more of it but tv shows like that just oh no, they, they make me laugh so much i i love nathan for you it's so funny he's just he's just such a weird guy <laughs> and i i don't know i love that i love that like one of one of the ones that he does is um he sets up uh basically he's like oh um you have a lot of these mu um Mag magicians that do these like ex escape artist tricks and they're always like oh the um the risky thing is like death like oh they'll be underwater and have to escape from from their bindings otherwise they'll die underwater and it's like oh what have we got here um value fossil shop items are one cent cheaper spawn three pennies when crushed shop items are one cent cheap is kind of good um i don't know why i didn't glass d6 that that was that was really silly um but yeah, so he's like, oh, well, they're, they're saying that like, if they don't escape, they die. But I know a fate much worse, much worse than death. And basically he has this contraption made. It was a, a robot arm that he had made um, that would undress him, that would like pull down his pants um, in front of a crowd of children unless he could escape his bindings and stop the machine in time. So that basically the risk was if he didn't manage to stop the machine in time and break out, he would become a registered sex offender. <laughs> Walking the set direction causes the Grimace to fire in that direction. What? Causes the Grimace to fire in that direction. I'm confused by what this means, but I'm going to take it anyways, and let's, uh, let's smush this. Get some extra health. It's good, but it's like, it's a bit situational. This is always going to be useful. Okay, good. Right. Let's go down. Let's go down. Yeah, it, it's, it's just, it's just the, one of the most ridiculous things ever. Like, and as well, like, the reason he has a robot arm doing it is because apparently he, like, he, he went to, like, a retired judge and uh basically asked him how how this would have to go down and the judge was like if someone else assisted you in pulling down your pants they would also be considered a registered sex offender so you have to have it done autonomously you have to have it done by a robot otherwise it, it is liable to other people Ooh, this is, this thing's kind of good it doesn't proc that often but seems kind of interesting is this guy the guy? Yeah, this one's the one that uses items, and of course he managed to get me there. But we've got this shield thing, which is really nice. Actually managed to give us this, which is really good. Crack that open. Binky's awesome for us here. Um, ooh, very good item. We'll definitely take that. We'll pop in here now as well. Um, I'm not sure. I might re-roll what we both of the things we've got right now. They're both interesting. What the hell are you? I've not seen you before. What the hell are you? Oh, okay. Um, boost speed in uncleared rooms is really nice. And then we've got chance for spectral and piercing tears. I think we'll take both of those. So let's um, let's grab this for now. And we'll, yeah, we'll sell that. 
for some health. And then I'll take both of these. I like both of these. Okay, cool. Decent. Yeah, it's just just some of the most ridiculous stuff. Like in one episode, um oh, okay, we're actually finding a good amount of spectral and piercing considering we're at minus one look. These guys being tiny is, is, is a little, little bit worrying. Uh, one of the ones he does is basically is trying to improve the uh, popularity of a specific bar, um, like a diner. And he says that one really good way to um, improve the, like, improve the standing of a bar or whatever when um, when people find out that a celebrity has been in and, and left, like, a ma really massive tip because, like, the newspapers will cover it. Um, but because the, it would be very, very costly or, like, pretty much impossible to get like a really high value celebrity to come and do that um, as, a publici as a publicity stunt because they the very rarely agree to that. What instead they, they did is they found a man on Craigslist who would be willing to legally change his name to the name of a celebrity and get him to and then transfer him money and get him to leave that money as a tip and then to post the picture of that uh, tip on social media and have it get picked up by the news and it ended up working in a way but it was still like the most overcomplicated, crazy thing i've ever seen um what's this we got tears have a chance to apply the effect um to apply the effect scales will look effect is an aura on the floor which spawns holy light when enemies touch it Ooh. i'm gonna go for both of these because they're both chance based and seems like a good idea I will grab this again, of course, and the one thing with this character is it is a little bit annoying that you have to backtrack every now and again, but also having this, like, hub area makes it significantly more, like, okay. It, it makes it way less uh, tedious and annoying. But I like the chance-based ones. They, they, they seem fun, so we're going to go for that. Have we been to our shop yet? We have not. Let's go into our shop. And we get ourselves the Cursed Candle, which I don't think I'm going to take right now. I will take this, though. What was that Jack of Spades do for us? Spawns, wants to spicy keys. Okay, spicy keys we don't really need right now. Spicy keys are the ones that deal damage to us. So yeah, I'm wondering how often this aura will end up proccing. We'll see. A mini Isaac chilling with us right now. Oh, that's insane. What? <laughs> that's nuts. That's so good. So it seems like they are pretty rare, to be honest. But god damn do they hit. God damn do they hit. I like that. Right, quickly, if we go back into our shop here, we can then teleport to our starting room and go to the curse room using tough as nails. Where's the starting room? There it is. Yeah, we can use this to get in here for free. Got some spicy keys in here. Actually, wait a minute. Can we? Okay, that... Oh, wait, that, that did pick him up. Oh, there's a triple one here. Nice. Okay, we can trick this by doing uh, Tough as Nails. Tough as Nails is going to be super useful for us then. Do stuff like that. Oh, I didn't wait. Why didn't I wait? That was stupid. I'll do this now that I've got enough keys. Why not? Might as well give ourselves some extra fire rate as well. Oh, these tiny boys. These tiny boys scare me. We've only seen one of the Holy Light things proc so far. I'm going to glass D6 this. I really regretted it. That was, like, super terrible. Oh, what? I walked into the spikes. Okay, we lost a lot of health there for essentially no reason. Big sad. Um, yeah, go through to the shop. The shop cuts us a bit around this way. And then we can come back through here and go do our boss fight. I really like the, the way this room looks. It's really cool. Okay, we have our extra fire rate here. We'll hope to get at least one holy light shot in here. This guy's going to be a pain with this small room size. Okay, we got one of them there. Hopefully Tough of Nails will block shots every now and again as well, which will help. We really need luck upgrades is what we need. Get that additional feet. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Um. Hmm. I feel like that's a, worth, a worthwhile take. 
Also, I'm going to take that too. Devil deal, no thank you. But isn't... Wait a minute, I need to check what this one actually is. One second. Um, Extra damage whenever an enemy dies, plus one damage when you take damage. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Um, The Bloodstone has been good for us before. Okay, let's take that. The Haunted Geode is good, but... I don't know. I like the I like the light beams one more, despite it proccing less. I think it could be more fun. Let's go down. Let's see what we could do with this golem boy. Right, let's quickly go down here. We do have our chisel boy, is rather nice. We don't have much else though. But yeah, having having flight now is going to be super useful. Ooh, there's some. B and spider enemies in here. Oh, there's the aura look. I haven't actually seen it form yet. There you go. If it if it like we hit it onto an enemy straight away, it just it just insta zaps them. Not the best item ever, but I guess we'll take it. We don't really know what we're getting in terms of cards here. Oh no, we do, we do. Um so I guess we just take the moon. This is just all teleport cards. I'd rather have the moon. Um Justice is rather nice here. Enemies now drop spider eggs. Nice. Take that. I love the music. Secret music there. So nice. These eye guys scare me a little bit. Fluffy eyeball boys. Damn it. Both of them popped. Ooh. We got ourselves a honey penny. Now that didn't really work how I wanted it to, but it kind of did. I hate any uh, spiders that are like stuck behind walls like that. Put your pain in the ass to move. Yeah, yeah. What we got here? Um. So I'm guessing you. We pay and we get. Yeah, we get. We get a key output. Got a red key from you there. I want the green key. I want to see what that devious penny is. This is actually costing us keys, though, so we got to be careful. Ow. Okay, let's just leave. <laughs> we'll come back if we get more keys. Yeah, we almost have enough. Ooh, okay. <laughs> AFK. I love that. <laughs> Look at our damage scaling, by the way. From that one room with all the white spiders, we just got an insane, insane damage up. Holy light going off there. To be fair, we've got flights, so we can just head in. Spawn three golem trinkets. A soul of golem. Nice. Probably shouldn't have spawned them in here. That's going to be a pain in the ass, but it's done now. Um, what we got here? Range and shot speed. Don't really care. Can block three hits per floor. Don't really care. Clears all projectile. Okay, honestly, all of these are not great. So I think all of these we want to take two at a time. And um, we want to go back to this room here and trade them in. We could re-roll them, I suppose. Um, let's 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 re-roll one of them. We'll, we'll eat up two and then re-roll one. Right, we'll head back out. We've got good health now. And then, yeah, we, we grab that one. And we'll re-roll it and see if... Uh, okay, let's take these two. For now, let's leave that one there. We can get Champion Belt in a sec as well. So, with this, I want to chisel this one to my body. And then I want to start re-rolling this one to see if we can get anything much better. Chance to get a shield on damage that lasts for a room and blocks one hit. When blocks, knocked by near enemies. Nah, not so good. I, I realize that Champion Belt is now, like, out of reach for us, but it's fine. Um, spawn a famine locust. Each new room gives a pretty fly when crushed. Chance to fire in an X shape. Heals a heart on pickup. When crushed spawns... Chance to fire an X shape. Okay, no, that's not super good. Sounds kind of interesting. It's not really my style. 25% chance to block red heart damage. Uh, red heart damage is always half a heart. That's got potential, but I'm still going to reroll it. I'm really looking for something interesting here. Trinkets always reroll to runes. Um, 
Using runes, drops of rune shard, drops of all rune shards. When crushed. Not great. <laughs> Not great. Okay, let's go back and get our bloodstone, which we did lose all the damage up for by dropping, I think. Which is a shame. Wait for it. Okay, we get the damage back when we picked it up. I wasn't expecting that. I really wasn't. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to remember the amount of damage we had from it. But with the extra speed from the flight and stuff, we're uh, able to keep our damage flowing pretty easily. Like, these little dudes look. Just give us so much damage. Or at least they did last time. I think it has to be in a combat room. Rune shards. It says all trinkets get re-rolled into runes. Does that include golem trinkets? Because if it does, that's not going to be good. We'll, we'll fight the boss and find out, I guess. But if that's the case, yeah, I probably want to drop it. Definitely taking more damage than I should be. Not good. Oh my lord, I am getting hit a lot. <laughs> that was pretty beautiful. That was pretty beautiful. Ooh. Right, the explosive fly needs to get this guy. Yeah, and we'll see if we get a rune after killing this dude. For some reason, I think I will. I think it's going to count for everything, which isn't a good idea. No, we didn't, which is strange. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I guess we're good to leave then. That's that's a bit confusing. I'm not quite sure how this uh, this golem rock works exactly. I guess we'll find out though. Damn it, we're getting really bad luck on our red chests. At the moment, we really are. Grab that there. Oh, I, I think I grabbed that just in time. Beautiful. It's kind of hard to grab them, but when you do, they are pretty worthwhile because they brought block shots and they spawn spiders. There are two in one. The twofer. Oh my lord. <laughs> I did get hit in the process of that, but that was still pretty... I got hit again. These enemies are pretty rough because they, they fire black shots on a black floor. It's kind of hard to see them. No soul heart for us there. Tainted treasure room, though. Ooh. Um, if shooting, pla plus five bombs. If shooting, placed bombs turn into movable crosshairs that launch the uh, bombs as delayed missiles. Interesting. So, I've got to shoot and then launch a bomb. Let's, let's try this out. So, I'm shooting and I launch a bomb. Okay, so, hmm, I wouldn't exactly call that better than Rocket in a Jar, like, at all, because it's a lot, a lot harder to aim, <laughs> but it might do more damage, so I'm, I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt for now, but right now, I'm not super convinced, so just because the delay is so heavy. Try and find that item room over here. Ah, damage has slowly faded away now, pretty much. Still got a little bit, but it's it's not all that much. Don't fire a turd at me, sir. Rude. God damn, I love enemies like that that like explode into shots. They're deadly, but they're pretty cool. Yeah, that was that was a really good one there. Um, this guy is constantly spawning enemies that we really need to be killing. Otherwise, the flies take over. Excuse me, sir. We got a good amount of damage from that room as well. And we've also got a really nice orbital suite of these spider eggs. Beautiful. Oh, we're at four now, so we can't even get another one right now. Can I even get one? 
Damn it, I noticed a holy shot there and I missed it. It's good. Ooh, mega chest. Unfortunately, we don't really have the keys to go for that. <laughs> I'm certainly tempted if we get the keys. I should have taken the spicy keys from out of the floor. This guy's got, um, Cricket's body. Take care of those annoying enemies. But you just got to remember the, 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 you spawn these fellas. Okay. He gave us a card rather than a penny, which is strange. We should have popped that. I was like, holy, that's so much stuff. Then I realized we just got the um, thingy effect. Judgment. Judgment was a really good pickup here, actually, because now we can reroll our plus 10 bombs. Doesn't reroll the plus 10 bombs. That is depressing. I really thought it would. That is very sad to see, but it doesn't. I don't know why it doesn't. I am majorly confused. I thought I'd found something great there. Get okay, careful of these little fellas. Ooh, bit of extra speed is really nice for us here. Although that didn't give us much speed, to be honest. Did give us range though, I guess. Holy, oh my god. That was kind of crazy. We definitely need some more rocks going on right now. We've not got a ton. That gives really good damage for the boss, wherever the boss is though. Unfortunately it is, wait a minute, can I? Slight shortcut. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't an amazing boost, but that was decent. Oh, look at that, like, the bomb takes so long to come down, holy. Like, you basically have to stop firing to aim it. It takes forever to come down. Gain one burn heart on the first pickup. Health upgrades grant burn hearts instead of heart containers. I mean, we, we at least want to pick it up. We'll take it for now, why not? Getting burn hearts instead of normal heart containers seems decent. We also got marbles here, which is going to be pretty good. Um, we got ourselves Keystone, grants minor tiers and speed up for every floor where the player uses a key. It's kind of good. On entering an uncleared room spawns uh, four amethy amethyst fiend. Ooh, that sounds really cool. Go for that. Um, and then actually these other two, let's um, recycle, shall we? Out of the three, even, we've got three in this room that we can recycle. We've also got one of you too, so why not? Let's do that. And that. Occasionally burn nearby enemies when uh, grinded smelts your other trinkets. I don't... Which one is grinded? Is this grinded? Is this grinded? I, I really have no idea. <laughs> which one is grinded? I'm still very lost on that. Or is grinded when you, like, graft it to yourself? I really don't know. But either way, we're probably not going to take that, because... <laughs> well, let me just go and grab... That. Probably should have picked that blast so I didn't lose as much damage, but oh well. That definitely isn't grinded. I was testing that out. Rune shard. Rune shard. Okay. We got decent stuff here. We'll uh, smelt both of these to ourselves on the next floor if plausible. I think it is just a random chance whether you get the ability to smelt an item to yourself or not. It's not like every other floor or anything like that. I'm hoping we get one on this floor though. We did. Nice. Let's chisel both of these to ourselves. Nice. Okay, good.
I like the fact that some of these have, um... Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, I like the fact that some of these different stones have, like, different small bonuses. Like that fire one there that was, like, uh, smelts everything when it's grinded. Like, I think that's a really good little bonus to have with some of these. Just to have that little bit extra something to make them a little different sometimes. Or give them an alternative use to the actual, like, face value use sort of thing. Holy, what is this room? What is going on with these fire buddies? Not much, apparently. Black hearts are great for us here. Moss melting. Oh, I just walked straight out there. I don't know why I did that. What are these enemies doing? Okay, they're just shooting at us. Not too bad. There is some, like, rooms that have, like, or some, some floors that have, like, really strong enemies and really weak enemies, which I do, I do like. It's, like, a bit of a balance. Because I think Isaac, in general, does have that. Where it's not just, once you get to the later floors, every enemy is automatically hard. There's a nice sort of mix and balance between. Really liking these fiend things. It did say it spawns four, though. And it is clearly only spawning two. Which I'm not going to complain too much about, but it did say four. I'll open that up. Wasn't super worthwhile, but I thought I'd try it. Damn it. Taking damage that I shouldn't be now. Strength card's pretty good for us here. Why not grab that? Rather nice. We can keys in the regular as well. Ah, oh, Dead Sea Scrolls. Why? Why? I just like using this for jumping around. I realize there's a mod as well that adds extra synergies to this item. I probably should get that at some point. Ah, his scythe is still here. I didn't expect, I thought his scythe would disappear when he did. Not the case. Whoa. These guys are scary and there's more of them. They're hiding in the pits. We had enough of this last run. Get some soul hearts here if we can. Miss my bombs if we can. Now we have plenty of bombs right now. How did that not hit that other blue fire? Just gotta use it at the right time. The, the, the fiends are doing really good damage. Wheel of fortune there. Um yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this a little bit. Because this could give us rocks, right? It could give us a soul heart at least, but not much else. Ooh, I like these ghosty fellas. They're pretty cool as well. This is Depths 2. Uh, we've seen our item room and stuff, so I think we just go for this. I'm sure a strength card. Ooh, that was a really nice hit with the light shots there. The mother music's pretty darn good as well here. There's some really good tracks on this uh, this new music that we're using. Really good tracks. What do you guys think of it, by the way? I hope you guys are liking it. I've been recommended it by a few people, that's why I'm, like, continuing to use it, and I've kind of, like, gotten into it. It really fits Fiendfolio quite well. And it also just amplifies the the experience of it being different and new, like a sort of new DLC type thing. Having new music kind of amplifies that. This is taking quite a while, by the way. I'm a little, little bit worried about my damage, considering how long this is taking. There we go. We got it in the end. We'll take Light Path this time. We also got ourselves charms, um, enemies in a small radius around the player. That's sounds really good. Ooh, and we get Revelations or Eucharist. I think Revelations is just going to be better for us because it means that we can now put our Space Bright down if we want to. And also the Beam is just good damage for us, which I think we kind of need. Maybe I'll try to do Mega Satan with this guy. Why not? Yeah, so like when, when an enemy gets close to us and it charms them, especially for regular enemies, not bosses, that's going to be good because it means we can't really take contact damage anymore. Or at least it's going to be hard to, unless we like directly run into an enemy. Yeah, it's definitely supplements our damage nicely. Having the extra revelation beam there. And then we head on down. So, uh, can we smell what we've got for us right now? This is an XL floor, which is really a shame because it means less of these dudes. Okay, we can smelt this one onto us. Nice. 
I like that one, so let's go for that. And then we've got 50% chance for enemies to drop a temporary penny on death. That's also decent. I'll take that too. Obviously, it's not amazing because this floor, we don't really need money. But I don't know. Maybe it could be cool. Oh, there you go. Temporary penny. We got it. Algis is really useful for just later on in the run. Might need it. Oh, look at these guys. Look at these dudes. They're wild. Try and charge up Revelation before we head into a room, really. Oh my god. There's their temporary penny. They're kind of, they've got a new graphic for them as well. It's pretty cool. I didn't they'd have anything new visually. I thought it'd just be a penny. Kind of like a, a handmade penny. Damn. Okay, I'm taking quite a lot of damage here. I need to be a little more careful. I need to scrap some uh, scrap some rocks if I get the chance to as well. Maybe I shouldn't have smelted the penny one to start of this floor. I just wanted more smelted to me. Smelting's fun. The penny lasts for a decent amount of time, actually. It's quite easy to get. Oh my god. Also, the womb, I feel like... Womb and onwards are the flaws at the minute that I just d don't know the enemies very well. And so we're seeing a lot of... Uh, Troublesome enemies that could cause us a lot of harm. Oh my god. Yeah, I kind of got stuck in the thick of it there, didn't I? I suppose one good thing is we can now re-roll a lot more often if we have this amount of pennies. Like all these excess pennies. Rerolling is going to be more plausible for us. We definitely need a fire rate increase as well. Our fire rate's not terrible, but we could definitely do with a boost. There's a penny. Up to seven already. It's, it's three pair reroll, I think. Ooh, that's perfect. We really needed that. Damage isn't too bad just because we're constantly gaining and losing damage. That was a bit of a bad uh, usage of that there. Use your revelation beam a little more if we can. Yeah, we're constantly gaining and losing damage, so I'm not too worried about our damage values. But fire rate would be nice, because that would bolster onto the damage that we're getting. Missed that penny, sadly. Got that one, though. Huzzah. Okay, I forgot this was an XL floor, but finding the boss this quick is pretty darn useful. And we've got the Algis rune if we need it, although I'm not thinking we will. Oh, damn, yeah, the Revelation Steam is doing a lot of damage. We need to be using it way more often. We got ourselves. Let's have a look what that is. Um, ooh, consume all items and pickups in the room. 50% chance of turning into a wisp. Pedestal items. Okay, that's meh. Rocks may drop half a heart when broken. Tintin's uh, special or secret. Rocks may instead drop an additional half soul heart. That's decent. Right, let's charge up Revelation before we head in. Why not? Look, you are charmed then to start with. These guys are getting crits as well on this fella. Nice. And then we should be able to get a few of those holy... Yeah, there you go. There's one of them. It hasn't been a great item, to be fair. I thought it would have procced a little more often. But for the amount of power that it does give, it's kind of okay. Another cool music track for this boss. There you go. We got through that. Not too bad. And then we got stalactite. Explosions cause rocks. Ooh, yeah, we'll take that. We don't have anything explosive based right now, but I like the idea. Um, and we will head to the next floor. Probably should have picked up that red heart. Would have been a good idea. But we are on our way now, regardless. All right, let's check in here first. I'm hoping there's a statue we can bomb. There is indeed. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Fake rock drops a key on pickup. If there is a locked door, the first broken rock in the room drops a key. That's not super useful. So let's um, let's re-roll this one. Constantly fires in random directions. Don't need that. 
Taking a pill also takes a second random pill. Also take an additional positive pill if holding two geodes. Pretty good, but this late in the game, I don't think it's going to be super useful. Chance to drop a red heart when taking damage. Drop soul hearts instead when with explosive damage, along with a key bomb or chest. Hmm. Cool, but I'm really looking for something damage based. All chests get replaced with red chests. Spawns of red chests when crushed. The left fossil. Okay, so it's just like the left hand, but as a thingy. Okay, that's that's fine, but we don't need it. Off a red chest. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay. Now we're just going to kind of speed through. We, do you know one thing that I should do with this character more often, which I haven't been doing, is look for secret rooms. I think secret rooms tend to contain a good amount of additional rocks for us to use, so I should be taking advantage of that. I don't know. I'm just not a min maxer, so it's not in my nature to uh, look for all the secret rooms. I don't think we've found a single one of this character so far. I'm sure you guys in the comments will be letting me know how frustrated you are at me for not uh, not not checking secret rooms more often. Hagen does. Ooh, hello. That looking pretty cool. Flash. Huzzah. We're out. Okay, keep moving onwards. Oh, rooms like that are just sexy. More pennies. I probably shouldn't have got rid of that last turn, considering I'm going to get more coins here. I could have done some more re-rolling, I guess. Ooh, what are these guys doing? I like the fact that any explosion causes... Whoa, look at these dudes. That's so cool. They really have, like, stardust or whatever behind. Oh, you're the person that traps me, aren't you? Traps me in, like, the, the, the cage of light. Got to be rather careful around those. They can really mess you up. And then we got, like, these angelic things around you as well. Ooh, hello. Okay, I don't think I need to kill you, but that's that, that, they seem really cool. Got one of them. I think my little dudes are going to get the next one. Thank you, fiend buddies. Whoa, I wasn't expecting you guys. It's kind of cool that we have some enemies that appear after the room is over, enter the Gungeon style. Wave-based combat. Oh my god, look at those herming shots. They're pretty freaky. So many pennies, wasn't it? Only like a 15% chance to drop. Seems like way higher than that right now. Okay, we've got the organization here. The boss that has lots of body parts and can be a very big bastard. That, that bit doesn't do anything for us. Is this boss gonna die? <laughs> Feels like it's I think I have to shoot the brain, that's why. And he's just got a lot of health. When the brain hops out, it's probably when it's best to shoot him. But there you go, he got it eventually. A very cool boss. Very unique. Little body parts he leaves behind as well. Ooh, these guys, the little perp head boys. Whoa, what's this? What's this? There's someone chasing me. Oh god, it's caught me. That looks a bit freaky. Look at that laser beam there, holy shit. Oh damn, okay, this is like a uh, enemies can't be killed until we kill the other enemy sort of thing. Yeah, they're cool. Not got much reach to them, but definitely cool. Okay, taken care of. We did take damage there again. I think we've lost our burn heart now, but it's not of huge concern. Oh god, jumpy boys. I really love this holy light thing. It's such a cool idea. This is what I like about the rocks, like, we've played this character three, four times now, and we've still not even close to seeing all the rocks. I realise that's not many times in the grand scheme of things, so maybe, like, down the line it will get a little less fun because you'll have seen all the rocks, but I still think there's more than enough of them, considering that regular items exist as well, 
and regular trinkets too, that you can have a really fun time with this guy every every single time. And the runs are going to be very, very varied. I think that it's going to be hard to have really similar runs as this guy. Oh, sorry. I had to itch my ear real quick there. It was bothering me. By the way, why does my um, marks here show that only Mother was done in hard mode? <laughs> The, the other ones definitely were, right? Well, these guys are doing their own thing as well. Okay, we've taken a lot of damage. We, we definitely are very, very weak. Unfortunately, we, we really didn't get many items that did too much for us. Revelation's like the best thing, but without base damage, Revelation's is not doing too hot. It's taken us a long time to kill some of these bosses here. Like, oh, for God. It takes so long to come in. And then it missed. And then it missed. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Tainted Treasures seems to have a lot of items that are just significantly worse than the original. Which is a shame because it's a super cool idea and there's some really good ones out there. But there's a lot of them that are like, I would never trade this ever. Okay. Spawns few flu flies when damaged. Spawns a friendly portal when crushed. That's not great, unfortunately. Yeah, we're, we're, that's another thing as well. Right now we're getting rocks that aren't too impactful. A lot of on damage ones, which I realize I'm taking a lot of damage, but I still don't think is great for us. That is trash, unfortunately. This this item's good, but the rest of them are terrible. Alright, check down here, see what's going on. We never did get, get that second key piece. Yeah, unfortunately, not much for us to see down here. I mean, I suppose we could re-roll some of what we've got right now. We've only got two re-rolls in us. That wasn't a reroll, you dumbass. All stats up while actively pressing against rocks. I love this item, but there's no rocks on this floor, so pretty useless. Grants a rock familiar that fires rock tears that have a chance to confuse. Hmm, cool. Okay, I'll take him. I, I feel like... Of... I don't know. I don't want to complain, but... The music is so good, but this floor's is bizarre. It's It just doesn't fit the aesthetic of the floor at all, in my opinion. It sounds like... It sounds like it's, a, it's made for, like, an Old West floor or something. Like, I don't know. I don't get it. The rest of it, I, I fucking love. This floor's is really weird, though. I think we might die. I'm gonna be honest. I think we might die. Like... We are just struggling so hard for damage right now. And I keep getting hit. Well, Chad might help us though. That's nice at least. Oh, damn. I, I smelted my trinkets when I got hit there because I've got um, marbles. I forgot about that. That's really useful as this character. Marbles is pretty insane. You need to die, you do. You need to be dead. Ooh, that's a lot, of, a lot of shit coming from you. Only three hearts remain and very, very minimal damage right now. Really, the only damage up we got the entire run was um, was the Bloodstone. I, I, I legitimately think if we take a look over, it's the only damage up we got all run. So we're still on base damage if we don't kill things. It's kind of crazy. Ace of Spades. Can we Ace of Spades this room or is it going to be all bosses? We can Ace of Spades this room at least. Okay. This is slightly risky, but look, look how low the damage is on this guy. It's taking forever. Oh, we're at half a heart now.
Okay, let's quickly go back to one of these rooms that has hearts in it. Scary. Lots of rooms with rocks on the chest, by the way. Which isn't supposed to be a thing. Which is strange. I thought Fiend Folio would have, um... Would have kept with that theming, but I mean, I, I guess, suppose when they have unique rocks, they want to show them off, especially ones like this. That's really cool. With a big lock in the middle. So I kind of get that. <laughs> but it just isn't regular. <laughs> okay, that guy died pretty quick. Look up Penny there, kind of nice. A fair look up of the entire run there. Ooh, this guy's going to be tricky. Plus another boss too. This guy's already hard enough as it is. And he blows up. I wonder if that would have killed the pin if the pin was still alive. I wonder if that explosion is actually a damaging explosion for other enemies. Okay, he is actually dying pretty quick here. We got him. I, you gotta think as well that he is a first floor boss. Holy. This has got to be the way to the boss at this point, right? Oh, what the hell's going on with that guy? Okay. So many hands. Okay, here's the boss. Whoa, what the hell's this guy? Oh my goodness. The chest lets you see all sorts of crazy bosses. He's not too hard right now, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to say it's not hard, because we are still struggling with him a little. Definitely taking a while to kill. Very, very cool boss, though. Seems to be dead now. Very cool boss indeed. Oh, that is so clutch. we got Algis. There's only 20 seconds of invincibility, though, so don't get our hopes up on the Algis being the saviour of this run. Because this is going to take far longer than 20 seconds to get through. But, getting those two soul hearts was huge. We're about to run out of Algiers. Yeah, it's flashing now. We've got him halfway, though. Halfway on Algiers is pretty good. But I feel like we might, we might just about get through this. Really relying on Revelations. To do all the work here. <clears throat> really relying on it very heavily. But it's doing okay. Just a bit of a struggle bus here. Okay, we got hit once so far, but we've got so little of his health left, we should be fine. Okay, good. That was a struggle. All stats up. Oh, wait, what? We went in here by accident. Did not mean to do that. What did we get there? We got all stats up, smaller permanent stats up when crushed, really. We could have... Would have been real good to get that earlier. Anyways, we finished off this run. A little bit of a struggle bus, but we had a good time. And I'll see you guys in the next one.